Hi, welcome to Ray at the Movies, and today we're doing a review on How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Deluxe Edition, which came out October 23rd, 2018, which just happens to be the year that the Grinch came out, which me and William just reviewed, by the way. And I wanted to do a review on this. <laughs> well, look at the cover. It's awesome. I bought this on Amazon, and I did not know I was going to get the slip cover or slip case. Now, all the bonus features I've ported over to here. I think the only thing that's new is the two movies that I never even knew existed, which was The Grinch, Grinches, The Cat in the Hat, and uh, Halloween is Grinch Night. They're both fun, but they don't stack up to the original. And I really like this one because... I grew up, first of all, I grew up watching The Grinch. And I really liked the animation that they did. And I also liked that they chose to make him green. Because he's not green in the book. And I like how closely they stuck to the book. Which, of course, makes sense. Because this, this movie wasn't very long. I think it's like 25 minutes. Uh, so it's easy to, to, uh, to do that. And um, the animation is fantastic. And Chuck Jones directed this as well as another director. Uh, let's see if I can find the director. But... Let's see, where is he? And Ted Cazell. He's... <laughs> William. Uh, okay, so... Boris Karloff voice changes when he speaks for the Grinch. Originally he spoke in his narrator voice throughout after recording was complete. The highs in his voice were mechanically removed for the Grinch, giving him the gravelly voice heard in the finished film. Dr. Seuss disputed casting Boris Koloff for fear that he would make the Grinch too scary. And actually he doesn't. He really brings the character to life. Um, the, the tone of his voice really fits the character. Though, though all of the production and character designs were based upon the original artwork from the book, Dr. Seuss thought that the Grinch more closely resembled Chuck Jones rather than the original Grinch drawings. Dr. Seuss was initially uninterested in animating this or any of his books due to his negative experiences on the 5,000 fingers of Dr. T, but Chuck Jones managed to persuade him. Now these are um, trivias from uh, IMDB. Dr. Seuss wrote the lyrics to all the songs, which actually makes sense because it sounds like something that he would write. Um, much like Coca-Cola sponsored plugs from a Ch Charlie Brown Christmas, 1965, the original broadcast of How the Grinch Stole Christmas was sponsored by the Foundation uh, for Full Service Banks and featured plugs for them at the beginning and end of the special. These have since been edited out of subsequent errors and are quite difficult to find. However, they recently surfaced, resurfaced in 2021 via YouTube and the Lost Media Wikai. The anime... What? Hi, I'm back. I had to take a little pause. And yes, I changed hats. It's not your imagination. I wanted to be a little different. Okay, that, now back to this. The animated short sits at 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Its critics' consensus states that the movie brings an impressive array of talent to bear on an adaption that honors a classic holiday story and has rightfully become a Yuletide tradition of its own. And it has. And it, ha it is a good adaption. Uh, the Grinch, uh, this is the last trivia I'm going to do, and then I'm going to talk about the movie a little bit more. Uh, the Grinch's green color was decided by director Chuck Jones' experiences renting cars in the Washington, Baltimore area, which he claimed always turned out to be the exact shade. Oh, oh one more thing, sorry. The half-hour cartoon took 10 months and 25,000 drawings to complete. That is a lot of hours. And uh, 
I will say that's all of that. There you go. The Grinch, to me, is one of my favorite movies growing up. I got to watch it in my household growing up with my parents and my sister. And we got to watch it every year on TV. I bought it because I got tired of trying this because I've been wanting to buy it for a while. Held out and then this edition came out and I really like it. It's a really good adapt. Uh, does a really good uh, restoration. I don't know what master they brought it from. Uh, it didn't state. But I will say I'm going to read the back of the cover. The all all mean all green. It's the ultimate edition of the holiday classic. It's holding, it's holiday decorations, joyful singing and gifts galore down to, down in whose will, but in the mountains above, there is a chill in the Grinch's heart for this green grumpy grunt, grunch despises all that is Christmas and the happiness it brings with his reluctant dog, Max. The Grinch dives, devises a plan to put an end to it. All, no feasts, no presents, no Christmas time cheer. Based on the beloved book by Dr. Seuss and packed with extra content, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the ultimate edition is a treasure that belongs under every tree. Two newly remastered Grinch specials, The Grinch Grinches the Cat in the Hat, Halloween and Grinch Night. Now, like I said, I grew up and I, always, I loved the scenes done with the Grinch and how he interacts, of course, with the, the Hoosville, and um, how closely they stuck with the, the, the book. It follows the book pretty good, and the animation is great, and I really thought that pick, making him green kind of fits the story. I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm sorry, my mind. But I highly recommend, if you're a fan of this classic, pick this up. Uh, now, I did have this on the classic Christmas movies, which confused my son, because when I went, he went and looked at Rackenbass, he was looking for this, and I says, they didn't do the Grinch. That's why it's not in there. So with that, I will leave you, and highly recommend, if you haven't picked this up, pick it up, and if you wanna watch a true classic, Christmas classic, that still holds up to the test of time, this is the movie. And this is a perfect edition. Now, it also does come with a DVD version of with with the special features too, and digital, which um, expired in twelve thirty one two thousand nineteen. But here's the thing I've learned, by the way, real quick. That doesn't mean you can't still get it. I was able to get a digital down download from one of the movies I bought recently, and I didn't think I could. So go ahead and try it. And you might luck out. So with that, I'm out of here. And I hope you have a good one. And like I said, if you don't... If I don't do another video before Christmas, have a happy, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And may you have a wonderful Christmas. Really mean it. I'm looking forward to spending time with my family. On Christmas Eve, I'm going over to my parents' house. Me and my wife and my son. We're going to spend Christmas with them. for Christmas. Christmas Eve is going to be our Christmas with them. And then spend time with each other on Christmas. I always love to watch William open up his presents and see his face light up. And love spending time with my wife and my son on Christmas. It's a wonderful time for me. Christmas is my favorite year. My, a holiday. Halloween is my favorite too. But I get more out of Christmas because I get to watch my son's reaction when he gets stuff. And just to be together as a family with family and friends. And watch Christmas movies. And listen to Christmas music. And look at all the Christmas decorations that are and lights when you go when we go. That's what we're gonna be doing on the way home from hanging out with my family. Is we're gonna be uh, be driven around looking at Christmas lights and I might capture that and put it on here but with no sound. Uh okay, because <laughs> I don't want no copyright claim, I don't want no copyright strike. So with that, I I uh say goodbye and I do recommend this the video quality is great on this the special features are fantastic and the bonus movies are good too but they don't stack up to the original and just to let you know if you're kind of curious if Boris Koloff does the voices no 
He only did the voice with this one, this movie here. And uh, I don't even know if you can watch this on TV. Uh, so many things have been uh, delegated to st streaming and um, apps that you have to go. Like some of the mo Christmas movies I've watched are on Apple TV. So that's why I'm buying these. Also, it's very good to support physical media. It's a great thing to have and own this. So whenever you want to watch it, you can. You don't have to wait till Christmas. Well, you don't have to watch this when it's not Christmas. But all right, I'm out of here. I've done enough talking. It's my problem. I like to ramble. Have a good one and have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. From my home to yours.